as a managed element, you could go to your menu, to your CM menu view, and do stuff, I mean, administer that CM. If you wanna, let's say, create a new endpoint, you would do it in endpoints, manage endpoints, right? And maybe create a new endpoint, or let's maybe modify one of the things here for this existing endpoint. You would simply select it, edit, And what people don't like is this delay, you know? It's yeah, right. Delay. delay. Yeah. yeah. In this case, uh, it almost five seconds. Right. Yeah, forget that. Yeah. I've already burned the building down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, if I tell you, for example, create a new, create a new trunk group, where would you go? Cut group. <laughs> That's one option. Cut group. If, if you didn't Buddy. know, if you didn't know about that option. Party. <laughs> Party. <laughs> uh, groups. Probably groups, right? That's where I went the first time and it's not there. Uh, you know ne what? Network? It's going to be under network down, towards the very end. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. so it's a matter of getting familiar. However, familiar with however, yeah. if you don't want to do like that, you always have the element cut through. Yeah. The element cut through allows you to click on that CM and cut through system manager, go directly to CM, and what's nice about this option, you're gonna see it's gonna look like a Jedi, oh. but it has the functionality of terminal emulator. So, looks like a Jedi uh, because you're able to select previous commands, you know? Right. Uh, if you, for example, change a station, like for example, let's say change station 1401, it looks like a Jedi because you could I mean, for some options, you have a drop-down menu, just as Jedi. But the cool thing about this is that you could run commands that are only terminal emulator commands, like troubleshooting command, like list trace, monitor, uh, monitor those a commands. Nice, cool. uh, a nice compromise between the two. Yeah, yeah, like for example, you want to list trace station 1401, let's say. I'm tracing right now, and this is what I was pointing out the other day. Go ahead and place a couple of calls from 1401 to whatever you want to call. Answer, yeah, there's a gap, maybe. Huh. Hold on, okay, yeah, place Delayed. another one. A little delay, but yep. There place it is. another one, but the good thing about this is that it doesn't it break it down into pages as CM does. But it's just a long, long page. That uh, copy paste doesn't work very well. You, oh, no. It doesn't? No, it's a mess. Oh. Snugglify it? Click the first part, scroll down, and yeah. hold the shift key. Uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, huh, let me a see. Little kludgy. Control A. Control A, Control A, yeah, select all. Oh. That's what's the whole screen. That's, yeah, that's like And not one. only that, but let me see. It, it unselected by default. Oh, wow. wow, you weren't even... Is it to live trace? Is it still live? No. Oh, because it's still live. Well, oh, because it's doing... I wonder if you have to then cancel and... Uh, Let me list see trace what pre. happens if I... List trace previous, right. Cancel. Oh, shit. And list trace previous? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then it would be the same thing as... No, because well, then it's already yeah. completed. Yeah, then it, it's not active. It's not... Yeah, it's not pinging or getting signs of life. Because this has got to be some kind of active Java mm. thing. No. Let's see. No. No. That's weird. Uh, that's okay. Now it's state no. <laughs> what if I select manually? Yeah. Only this. Manually just, just acting strangely. You gotta use something like a snippet or snippet. Yeah. I wonder Snag if that's it. a Java thing. Snag it. Yeah, the yeah. laptop's Java's not the exact variety. And I wonder if the Java variety required for this is the same or different than Java requirements for Sal. Oh, I, <laughs> I, know, I lost my Sal Java. I've got to get, a, get the version back right again. I blew it trying to mess with something else. Yeah, yeah. That brings it down. It is cool. Right? Yeah. Get used to it. You're in the. Gotta get used to it. Cut the, cut the uh, ASA yeah, umbilical like cord. Drive for a I don't want to have the weirdest access, so I'm pioneer. 
find a hybrid. The only thing that would prevent it. Like yeah, like the thing is, is I like got stuck here right, right now. Let me see if I can. Let me see. I think I just need to reopen it. There might have been 40 minutes ago when I started. No, something happened. I think the fact that we were running the same. You were running a least trace as well? No? No. Something locked me there. Oh, I'm in the chain station. No, but it's the. Um, you have an internal error. It's, it's Oops. I'm locked up too. I'm not. Oh, wait a second. What am I doing? It's good. Can you call kill my session in CM? Yes. What's the command in CM? List login? Status logins. Status login. Reset login ID. Now, the question is <laughs> the thing now is that we're all using training. Because that's the one that we use. No, but yours won't be asterisk on it. I killed the one that said. Right? Isn't that the one that would be yours? That's, that's three. I killed five. You killed five? Two. I'm using that one. Oh, yours using it. Okay. Okay, it looks like it's now, it, it got stuck, you know, but it's doing something now. What's the command you want me to run? That one stays, there is, it's, the, it's the other one, the one that's active. Have to do a word pad. Must be like carriage returns or some kind of format yeah, that it doesn't yeah, recognize it. Um, can you go shell from the? Can you be shellfish? Um, cut through? Are you trying to be shellfish? Shellfish. Crabby <laughs> patties. I don't know. I don't think so, but we'll see. I don't think so. We'll see. That'd be pretty wild. No. No. It says go shell. Not supported by enhanced configuration. Oh. Oh, that's what we're going to call this enhanced with Big Sat. Can't beat ASA, sorry. <laughs> Can't do it. I mean, you do control R, and any, any reports you want, you save it to your desktop. You send it to whoever you want. That's X file. That's, it's that, hard that's to beat it. that. That's, that's it right there. Yeah. That's what, that's my requirement. That's, that's a, almost a deal killer in most places. Yeah. Snippet and pay me for this word. I want to smack that word over and go through all that time. Yeah. Yeah. Just one notepad. Now, what's nice about configuring things in System Manager, you know, for that CM, are the logs. If you go to yeah. logs, logs viewer, I can see that, for example, here Alex changed endpoint 1401. And he changed the, the field test from the old value yes to new value no by the command change station 1401. Or like for example, I also did something here. It says object class of service field number changed from old value one to new value two on that CM by user admin, that was me. Uh, for this specific extension. I took a picture of that because I'm going to email that to <laughs> my, my uh, engineer over at C1. You know, so, <laughs> so, so if they do it in CM, will you be able to see that, it in here? Because that's no. exactly what only, only if you use... Only if you do it in system matter. It's a good question. From the CM perspective, if you do at least history, now everything looks as if it's coming from the user that you use for the integration. That training okay. username, oh, right. you see. So now, if you see things in CM, it looks like the same user did it. And notice that, for example, the one that I ran was change station 1401. But you already know that in CM, you don't get to see anything that really happened. You know, you only see that someone changed the station, but you don't get to see what was changed. So the cool thing about system manager is that 
it does give you the detail. You can see here, class of survey field number was changed from one to two. That's cool. Yeah. Gives you the old value, the new value. You know, Only for changes made from system energy. Yeah. Right. Right, so if you do it in ASA, so if you're going to screw somebody up, just do it in ASA. Right. That's what you're saying. So it doesn't, come, <laughs> it doesn't come back to you. Yeah, that's right. That's no problem. <laughs> if you're not sure about right what it is you're changing, do it in ASA. <laughs> Oops. I got no, if you have everybody working from system <laughs> manager now, you should see the logs in system that. manager because if you see at least history now, everything is going to look like it's coming from the same user that you configured during the integration. The, the login name and password configured when you... Uh, added the managed element, right? In this case, training. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Too easy. Page 74 is too easy. When communication was added, some managed element, what interface is used to administer? System manager. 